What's going on everybody? This is Jeremy back here with Gel Ops. Today we're just gonna be doing an updated video on the Flamingo Custom Works grenade. Um, so, biggest thing is they actually sent me a new body. So this is a new printed body. Um, it's a lot more durable than the original model. You can see we actually have concrete scuff marks all over it. We used it this weekend um, and not even a little bit of a scratch. So that's a great thing. Um, Next big thing is that they actually sent me the 209 primer conversion kit. Um, so you can see here, this is the base for your little caps, and this will be your base for a 209 primers. First, so all you mill simmers out there, they have a new um, base where you can put a 209 primer in here, um, and the same setup here with the new body. Um, I guess you can just take the old spring out, you can put the new one in, same thing. You push it all the way up, lock it in place, put your primer in, just screw it up, put the pin in. Once you put the pin in, it's not gonna explode. Pull the pin, it is an impact grenade, so as soon as it hits the ground, that 209 primer will go off. Um, but I did want to go over a few things that I for failed to mention in the first video. Um, and one of those being costs. So Flamingo Custom Works, um, they've been great. They uh, are a great help. Um, they're really trying to push their product um, as a cost effective way uh, to get the same thing done really in the airsoft community. So right now I think everyone would, um, you know, say that Thunder Bees are probably the most popular grenade for Milsim games. Um, just for reliability and um, reusability purposes, but cost is not really on their side. And this is where Flamingo Custom Works actually comes in. So yeah, with these cap cartridges, they're about 100 um, decibels or decibels. Um, with the primer, it's about 115 to 125 decibels. Um, so they're definitely gonna be loud enough for you to hear it. It is a 209 primer. Um, you will hear it, uh, so just be uh, wary of that. Um, but down to the cost, and this is really where um, these guys are going to be standing out um, against the rest of the um, airsoft community. Um, so this case um, and this bottom is going to run you about $55 to $60, um, but they're reusable. So in the long term, um, the cost of the ammo is going to definitely uh, counteract the, the, the price um, of the body and the base, not saying that's even expensive because it really isn't. Um, so to go over the ammo cost, so for one cap, um, it's 15 cents if you break it down. Um, 15 cents a throw for the caps. And for the 209 primers, at least in my area, it'll be 18 cents a throw. Now you compare that to the Thunder Bee cartridges, that's going to run you roughly 325 to 350 a throw, $3.50 a throw. You know, and so if you throw that 10 times at a Milsim game, I mean, you're looking at $35 in just grenades, you know, on top of all your other stuff, BBs, ammo, um, if you play gel soft like we do, um, gel balls, and all that good stuff. So, um, yeah, so the cost is definitely going to be a huge factor here. This new body is definitely gonna withstand pretty much anything you put on. Um, we're also gonna show you um, in the old video, if you did watch that, this is the newer firing pin. Um, and you can see how sharp it is still on the bottom and not rounded at all, which means it's gonna be um, not as sensitive on softer surfaces. So what I did um, and I talked with the team about is if we rounded this bottom to make it more like a circle, you can see now there's less friction there, so it takes less to have this pin go off. Um, so now we're gonna put uh, the video of last time of it not working with the, the pin that looks similar to this one. And then I'm gonna put the new video of me throwing it today with this firing pin exactly. Um, and you'll see the difference. I mean, in the first video, we tossed it 15, 20 feet in the air and it still didn't go off in the grass. I tossed this one about two, three feet off the ground with a small toss and it completely went off. So um, that's one of the biggest changes that uh, we made um, with Flamingo Custom Works in regards to the grenade. Now we're gonna go ahead and test it outside. Um, we're just gonna give it a toss over here into this dead grass. Um, same as the indoor, we're going to give it five tosses and see how um, reliable it is. All right. 
All right, so just like the last video, I'm gonna toss it over here into this dead patch and see if it goes off. You know, like I said, I used this all weekend. We threw it on concrete and everything, and it has concrete marks, but there's no chips or anything like that. The original body, um, was a lot softer, it chipped a few times. Um, so they definitely, definitely uh, upgraded with these new bodies. Um, and like I said, the cost effective of these are just, I mean, it's remarkable. You know, 15, 15 cents to throw for the caps, uh, 18 cents for the 209 primers, um, in comparison to $3.50 for a Thunderbird cartridge. So um, I, uh, I challenge you guys to go out um, and test this for yourself. Uh, I'm just giving you my experience with it. Um, we made a lot of changes, and I've had nothing but great things to, to say about Flamingo Custom Works and their team. Um, they've been great, super fast customer service, um, and so I have nothing but great things to say. So I challenge you guys to test this out for yourself, and let me know in the comments if you guys tested it and uh, if you guys have any feedback for the team. So I appreciate you guys. Um, if you haven't already, Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and hit that bell notification button so you get notified anytime we drop a new video. Thank you, and see you next time.